Hey guys, it's Lucas, and in this video I'm going to be going over the AIO monitor, and I'm going to be explaining how you can take advantage of it, mainly to run restocks and also to go after uh, releases with random drop times. Now before I get into how you can set up the AIO monitor, I'm going to go over the basics of what a monitor is. If you were to go to Discord, alright, the AIO bot Discord, if you were to scroll down to the very bottom, as you can see here, there is these options that you have over here. There are the AIO monitor uh, monitors that you have over here. And each different channel is a different site. So as you can see here, these are the US foot sites. You have the Canadian foot sites. Uh, you have a channel for restocks for foot sites. You even have a channels for Shopify, a different Shopify sites. You even have Supreme as well, Adidas, Yeezy Supply. And so what these monitors do is they are actively on the site pretty much monitoring to see if there's any releases or any drops that are happening. So if foot sites, for example, were to drop something, then it will pop up on the AIO monitor over here and you'll be able to just kind of like be notified about that. Now imagine if you were able to sort of have your bot start a task whenever an item is, you know, released on the AIO monitor, you know, wouldn't that be a great thing? Well, lucky for you, you already do have this feature implemented within the bot and in the form of the AIO monitor. So if I were to go back to the server, as you can see over here, if I were to click on AIO monitor, it actually so shows me the different items that are releasing at the moment. Uh, or that are restocking. So as you can see here, if we go back to Discord, did you notice how these just restocked? Well, if you were to go over here as well, you'll notice that they're actively restocking on here as well. And that's because the AIO monitor uh, in the bot is actually, you know, hooked to the Discord monitor that you could see in the Discord. So the real question is, how can you take advantage of the AIO monitor? Well, there's two ways that you could do that through AIO bot. The first way is using this window over here. So as you can see, every time an item drops, you are given the option to create and run a task. So if I were to click on this, it would basically start a task for me. But you will notice something is missing. You will notice that there is no billing profile and there is also no proxy list put or added to the task whenever you start a task. Well, how do you add these two so that when you click on the AIO monitor, it automatically inputs this for you. Well, if you were to go to the billing profile, as you can see here, there is this option that you have to favorite a billing profile. So when you're favoriting a billing profile, what you're actually doing is you're favoring it to, for the AIO monitor tasks. So if you click on this and you'd want to do the same thing for the proxy list as well. So if I were to click on favorite my proxy list, if you go back to the task tab, if you go to the AIO monitor, and this time you were to start a new task, if I clicked on create and run, as you can see, it started the new task for me, but now it has my credit card or my billing profile, and it also has my proxy list as well. Uh, right now, I'm just gonna stop these two tasks. So what I just explained was just one way to run the AIO monitor. And if I'm gonna be honest, you know, this isn't really much of a monitor task as much as it's a quick task. So a quick task is what we just did, right? It's just you quickly started the task that just released. However, the true way of running the AIO monitor is actually having the bot, you know, monitor the item for you 24 seven without you having to manually click on create and run task, right? There is a way that you could do it where the bot automatically starts a task for you based on the preset criteria that you used in the bot. Now, one way to use that would be to sort of have the positive and negative keyword set over here. However, I don't really like this method as much as I like the method that I'm about to explain. So if you were to go to add new, you have the option over here, which is the AIO monitor. As you can see here, you have different sites that you can select on, foot sites, Shopify, and Supreme. So right now, to run the AIO monitor task, you can run only restocks for one of either of these sites. So let's say you were to go for Supreme, for example. 
and let's say I'm gonna go for Supreme US. One thing that you may realize right away is that setting up for the AIO monitor is just pretty much like setting up any normal task. As you can see here, I can set up my size as random. And for the keyword, let's say that I'm going to run for the box logo restock. So uh, the cross box logo is just released last week. And so what Supreme often does is that after its initial release, a few days after, they may have a restock. Right? And these restocks are typically unannounced. They just happen randomly. And, you know, so you want to sort of have the AIO monitor task running at all times and just sort of like monitoring the Supreme site until the cross box logos restock. Right. So as you can go over here, I can put random for color as well. And then since these dropped as sweatshirts, I will select that for billing. And for Brox, I'm just gonna use my test profiles. And I'm gonna go for five tasks. So if you were to click on save and go on here, you'll realize that a monitor task has been created, but we haven't started it yet. So click on this. And as you can see here, now the monitor task is running. So it's gonna keep on running and it's gonna stay running until an item drops on the Supreme uh, website that matches the criteria that you set over here. So it's not going to start any tasks until it finds an item that has these exact keywords, cross box logo. And so how does the bot know when Supreme drops anything? Well, it's quite simple. If you go back to Discord, if you go over here, you have in the monitor section, you have the Supreme US monitor and basically the bot is just monitoring this as soon as an item drops here that matches the criteria uh, for that you set in the bot it will start the task for you and so in this case if a cross box logo restocks it'll quickly start a task for you uh, in our case at least sorry. in our case at least it would start five tasks since we set five tasks over here and essentially, you could just do this exact same thing for foot sites and Shopify as well. Uh, now, for foot sites, instead of using keywords, you'd want to use PID. Uh, so if you were to go over here, if you go to foot sites, as you can notice over here, each item has an SKU, also known as a PID as well. And you could just kind of paste that over here. Of course, you would want to use the PID for the item that you'd want to that you'd want to go after. Uh, so the Yeezy Breads recently re uh, released, you know, and foot sites sort of like follows the same system as Supreme, uh, where, you know, once an item uh, has an initial release, a few days later, they may restock. And in fact, the Yeezy Breads did already restock. So what you do over here is you'd go to the Discord and you'd go to the guides and you'd want to take the PID for the Yeezy Breads. As you can see here, that's Sam running for Foot Locker. So I can just start to take the PID for this, set this, and then go to Foot Locker. I have my billing profile, my proxy list set up. I can use a delay. So let's say I'm gonna use like something like 5,000. And then I decide to also have five tasks. I can click on save. And as you can see here, now we have the monitor task, uh, pretty much just waiting for foot sites to restock. Uh, or more specifically for Foot Locker to restock the Easy Breads and that has the PID. And yeah, I mean, all this also applies to Shopify as well. So if you were to go here, Shopify, you can set up your task as well and just pretty much, you know, go with the same process. If you don't know how to set up your task for Shopify or for Foot Size or for Supreme, I will leave a link in the description. It contains a playlist that has tons of videos, including set up videos for all these different sites. Uh, you can refer to these videos and setting up for these is pretty much very similar to setting them up for restocks. I would say the only thing that you sort of want to do different for restocks uh, that I haven't touched on yet for Shopify and for foot sites, when it comes to the delays, you want to go for something a bit higher. Uh, so normally for releases, for example, for uh, for Shopify, you may go for something like, you know, around 3,500. Uh, but for restocks, you may want to go for something around the 10,000 mark. And this actually applies as well for foot sites as well. 
you want to go for 10,000 as well for you. So you don't have to go 10,000 exactly. It can be around that range. It could be less, more. You can just experiment and see what works for you. Uh, but yeah, you want to make sure you have uh, delays set up that are higher than your typical delays on releases. Uh, another thing that you want to be sort of aware of is the capture as well. Now, just because you're running restocks doesn't mean that all sites don't have captures. On the contrary, there are sites that do have captures, and so I'm going to touch a bit on that. Uh, the first site that I'm going to talk about is Supreme. Right. So let's say you're running a Supreme monitor task. One of the great things about running Supreme restocks that I really, really like is that you don't actually have to solve captures most of the times for Supreme restocks. As long as you have the CAPTCHA solver set up along with your Gmail logged in. As soon as you have that, all your CAPTCHAs are going to be one clicked. So if anything sort of pops up over here, you wouldn't have to solve anything. It just automatically clicks on I'm not a robot and then it just carries on with the checkout process. So this is really, really good and it's definitely worth sort of taking advantage of when it comes to the AIO monitor. Running Supreme, it's just really efficient because you wouldn't even have to be on your desktop. You don't have, you're not even required to solve a CAPTCHA. So just have your keywords ready, have the bot running at all times. And as soon as uh, an item drops, then you know, you get to check it out pretty much, or at least the bot attempts to check it out. And remember, uh, for monitor tasks, you do not use any proxy data until the task starts. So if you're running residential proxies and you're running your monitor tasks, even if you run the task for 48 hours, if no item restocks with the keywords that you have set, no proxy data will be used whatsoever. Right, and that's again, that's an amazing feature that you have with the AIO monitor. Uh, the same thing applies with the DC proxies. Uh, so, you know, DC proxies or ISP proxies, they don't have any proxy data that you have to worry about. But when you're running tasks for so long, the entire day, like normal tasks, not monitor tasks, when you're running normal tasks, if you run these normal tasks like 24 7, at some point, the site's going to start wondering, like, all right, there's a lot of uh, there's an abnormal number of requests coming from this particular task. So we may have to ban the proxy. Right. However, when you're running the monitor tasks 24 seven, the site doesn't do that because it's not the proxy that is being used to monitor the, the task or the, to monitor the site. It's pretty much just like the bot is monitoring the uh, the discord monitor. Right. And it's not using any of your proxy data. It's just using the, the monitor itself. So that's a great feature that you do have to take advantage of when it comes to the IO monitors. You don't have to worry about proxy consumption or your proxies getting banned until the task starts. So basically, once the monitor captures the item uh, that you want, then it starts using the proxy data uh, to sort of check out the item. But to sort of go back to the topic of like the captures, right? Uh, just because Supreme doesn't have captures doesn't mean other sites don't. For Shopify, especially if the Shopify site has bot protection up, then unfortunately you will have to solve your captures uh, during the release. So that you know, so that means that uh, you know, if you're away from your desktop and you're not there to solve the capture, then you're just going to be stuck on this step, and the bot is not going to be able to check out the item for you. But if bot protection is down, then it may follow the similar system as Supreme, where it may be able to one click for you, especially on restocks. And so you just pretty much be able to check out the item without you having to manually solve it. Uh, and then finally, we get to foot sites. Now with foot sites, it's a bit of a tricky subject, mainly because uh, recently, you know, as I'm recording this video, recently foot sites have been doing, uh, making a lot of changes to its site and especially its capture as well. Uh, so at the moment, you know, you may have to manually solve the captures as well, even for restocks, but this may change in the future as well. Uh, so you kind of want to check the discord guides to kind of stay up to date and just sort of be aware with that. Uh, but yeah, at the moment, only Supreme really has this guarantee that you don't really have to solve any captures for the most part when it comes to restocks for other sites like Shopify and foot sites, you kind of want to 
uh, be a bit more wary. You know, if a restock happens, you have to try your best to sort of be at your uh, your desktop or your bot to make sure that you're actually uh, there to solve the captchas if the bot requires you to solve it. But uh, you know, other than that, I mean, I, I pretty much touched on everything that you need to know about the AIO monitor tasks. And you know, as I said before, it's, it's it's just such an incredible feature that you have as part of the bot, and it's actually very underutilized. And part of why it's underutilized is because a lot of people don't understand how beneficial it is. And this was sort of like the goal of this video is to sort of uh, really send this message to you that of how important this feature is and how it can really sort of transform your bot and game and sort of like you know if you're able to master uh monitor tasks then you could just pretty much monitor any item 24 7 uh you know without having to worry about uh you know proxy consumption or getting banned or whatever right so it just it makes your life way easier pretty much um, and just, you know, before I end this video, I do get this question sometimes where people say, do I need to have my desktop or my PC or my computer or laptop or whatever, like on when I'm running, uh, the monitor tasks? Well, obviously if you want to run monitor tasks, you need your bot to be on. And if you want your bot to be on your, your device has to be on as well. Uh, right. So you know, that's something that you have to sort of, you have to keep your device on 24 seven as well. If you want to run the monitor 24 uh, seven, the one exception to that would be if you're running the bot on a server, if you're running a bot on a server, the great thing about a server is that you can have the server on even when your uh, bot uh, or even when your PC or your device is not on. Right. Uh, so that would be the only exception. But other than that, you know, you'd have to make sure that your device is on. And of course, if you'd want to solve the captchas, uh, for your task, then obviously you want to be readily available. Uh, but other than that, you know, I hope I was able to sort of like bring as much value as I can when it came to explaining the AIO monitor. And I hope I'll see you in the next video.